Hello my lovelies, how are you this morning? Today we'll be crocheting a little hippopotamus and this one is completely no so except for when you close the hole at the back of his head. Okay, let's get started. First, I'll be making the teeth and this technique is known as the foundation, the chainless foundation. So, what I'll be doing is chain one, two, and three, yarn over, insert your hook into the first chain, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull up a loop, and yarn over, pull through all three loops. This is a foundationless half double crochet. And then to repeat, see there where the bottom is, there it's a little loop that looks like a chain. Insert your hook there, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three stitches. Okay? And chain one, two, three, one, two. Okay, and then do the same in this stitch. Uh, on the third chain from the hook. Okay, and yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through the loop, yarn over and pull through all three loops. And again, yarn over, pull up a loop into the same stitch, pull up a loop. And pull up through no 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 yarn over pull up a loop through the second chain on the second stitch from the chain you worked pull up a loop yarn over pull through all three loops and there you have it that's the little teeth And what I do is with these two yarn tails, I just pull them up. They will be worked into the hippo's head so they won't come loose. Now for the ears. I have a little bit of a mystery yarn over here. It has no label but it is a four ply and I have no idea how old it is but I have it so I might, might as well use it. For the ears, magic ring, single crochet and four double crochet stitches into the magic ring. And a single crochet. To have a total of six stitches pull tight and slip stitch into the first single crochet. Let's get started on the face. For the first row it's going to be a magic ring with six single crochet stitches in. There's a bee somewhere close by. <laughs> okay, for the second row it's going to be six increases. That is two stitches in each stitch.
it's bothering my dogs. They are a bit noisy at the moment. <clears throat> Okay. Let's secure the tail for the third row. We are going to do a sequence of one single crochet, one increase all the way around. one increase and you will have a total of 18 stitches row 4 is going to be a sequence of two single crochet stitches and an increase you will repeat that all the way around for a total of 24 stitches for the fifth row we're going to do a sequence of three single crochets and an increase one two three increase and we will repeat it all the way around for a total of 30 stitches row 4 is an interesting row and here's why we're going to do 4 single crochet stitches and 4 and 1 bobble stitch which is yarn over, pull up a loop, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull up a loop, four times. So you'll have a total of five loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all five loops. Okay. And then we're going to do nine single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Then we are going to do another bubble stitch. Then we're going to pull up the working yarn, bring the teeth a bit closer, but also have a spare piece of yarn nearby. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we're going to single crochet six times one, two, three, four, five, and six. Put the teeth wrong side against the face and 
and attach it with single crochets one two three where the two chains are you're just going to work over this chains and not into the chains with two single crochet stitches and then one two and three You should have one stitch left single crochet pull up a loop and then mark the last stitch you should have 30 stitches now row 7 is just going to be 30 single crochet stitches all the way around into each stitch and I just want to say, look at how cute these teeth are coming out, hey? Eh? They're adorable. Not to toot my own horn, but they are adorable. For our eight, we're going to do a sequence of three single crochets and one decrease all the way around total of six times and then you should have 24 stitches left for row 9 we're going to repeat the sequences three times so it's going to be a sequence of six single crochets one two three four five and six decrease and you're going to repeat this two more times and you should have 21 stitches left for row 10 I'm going to do the sequence of five single crochets decrease three times one and we're going to repeat this sequence two more times so it's going to be one two three four and five decrease For row 11, we're going to repeat the sequence of one single crochet, one increase, six times. And then do six single crochets to the end of the row. You should have then a total of 24 stitches okay for rows 12 to 14 it's just going to be 24 stitches all the way around So we're going to stop and just insert the eyes first. Now if you look closely at the stitches, right in between the two nostrils, just pull up your fingers like that, you will come to two increased stitches. 
and just insert the eye into the center of each of those two stitches. Nicely centered. And just adjust the camera a bit. Because I see I keep wandering off to the side. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, row 15 is where the decreases are going to start and it's also where we are going to be attaching the ears. Okay, so row 15 is where we are going to be attaching the ears and we are also going to be decreasing in this row. So it's going to be one, two single crochets, decrease. one, two, decrease, one single crochet and then we're going to attach the first ear. Just put it through the magic ring that was on the ear, go through the next stitch Pull up a loop like you would for a normal single crochet and finish your single crochet and then decrease one two start the decrease insert the hook into the magic ring of the ear pull up a loop as if you were going to do a normal decrease so you have three loops on your hook and finish the decrease stitch and we're going to do one two decrease one, two, decrease. We should now have 18 stitches left. We are almost done, so we can start to stuff our little hippo. For our 16, we're just going to do a sequence of one single crochet and decrease six times one decrease i'm going to complete this row with you because of the ears of row 15 so it's just going to be one single crochet one decrease one single crochet one decrease one single crochet one decrease and one decrease okay so if you still need to stuff a little bit of um, stuffing into the head. Now is the time to do it because we're going to be doing the last round now. Press 17, it's going to be six decreases all the way around
slip stitch into the next stitch make a chain and cut now all that's left to do is to close this hole if you need to add some stuffing you can um, just gets a bit harder when the hole is so small just so all the way around And pull it tight make a little knot and weave the tail away And you can hide the tail. All that is left to do now is to attach the keyring and to color the cheeks by adding a little bit of blush, or as I like to to use a retractable crayon just bend open the link insert it between the ears bend it closed Make sure it's secure. And now all that's left to do is a little bit of detail. Can make the cheeks red just lightly sun kiss the nose and there you have it our little hippo is complete